very well, doing great. Glad to be alive. Yeah. What's going on with Neptune? Um, we're working um, on the next project. I'm trying to wrap that up. Uh, I just dropped a new single aside from the first one I dropped this year. That's tomorrow with Victor AD. Now this one is called Nobody um, featuring Joe Boy and um, Mr. Easy. So that's what I'm heavily pushing right now. And the uh, acceptance has been crazy. We're almost hitting 3 million streams across all platforms. And I'm just grateful. Uh, about nobody, um, I right, shout out to my producer, Magistix. He uh, made that beat and sent it to me. And uh, when I heard it, I was thinking of names, artists that could come up and mother the beat. And uh, Joe, Joe Boy was uh, one of the first names that came on my mind. And I hit him up like, yo, I've got this crazy beat. I think you'll love. And I was like, big bro, send it through. And that's what I did. I, I remember sending it in the evening. And then I went to bed and woke up the next morning with a message from Joe Boy saying, bro, check your email. And then I did that and nobody was right there. So immediately I reached out to me, it's the easy say, yo, I just did a record with Joe Boy. I want you to listen to it. And um, I would love for you to jump on it as well. And then, um, yeah, easy got on board. And that's how we came about making the audio for nobody. And then contacted TJ Murray for the video, for the visuals, right, rather. And um, yeah, that's that's it. We have it all. Um, so Easy is my friend. Um, I also ear an arrow for him and uh, for Empower as well. And um, Empower also distributes my content. You know, so it's more like a friendship, business partnership going on with Neptune Records and um, Empower. And I mean, yeah, we guys, guys. You know, look out for each other in the industry. I give them my MJ moves. You know, I mean, it's in the body. They say, oh, well, you know, so just unleashing it one after the other. And um, I know a lot of people were surprised, maybe because I'm a very reserved person. Like you barely see me dancing, maybe making videos, dancing on social media or at events, you know, so that caught them like, boom, like, really? This guy can step, you know, so I mean, it's a complete package. We can do everything. So that's just one of the flip side of DJ Neptune that you guys never knew of. Yeah, I've started singing. I mean, if you heard demo with David Ola that I dropped last year, my vocals were heavily on that as well towards the end of the song. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, maybe on this next project, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys find that out. Um, what else does Neptune do? I mean, I, I started acting recently, so I might go into movie um, acting full time. I don't know. Let's see how that goes. And um, I mean, yeah, for those that know I play football, I'm actually a good goalkeeper. You know, I can actually pass for the national team. Ah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it is what it is, man. Um, so um, I, I did two episodes on Flatmate last year. Um, there was one that I was locked up in the jail, not like I committed any crime. You know, I was booked to do an event and then there was some chaos at that event and my laptop got stolen. You know, and then I went to the nearest police station to report. And then the police officer thought I was brave enough to come and report that my laptop was stolen, thinking maybe I was a Yahoo boy or sort of, you know, and then he put me behind bars, you know, so all that was cool. And then um, there was one other episode I, I did something as well. You know, so, I mean, people saw it like, oh, really? So you can act, you know, I think you should look into doing more of this. And then there was um, a video of mine so nice uh featuring delby and david that i dropped in 2015. um some acting was heavily involved in that as well you know so i mean fingers crossed 2020 we unleash that part of dj neptune
with all of them. Bring it. Producer, send your script. Let's make it happen. Oh, well, I arrested the DJ. But, well, I mean, he, he didn't know who I was. That's in the, in, the, in the movie. He didn't know who I was. And then he asked some inmates, like, oh, do you guys know anybody called DJ Neptune? DJ Neptune? And you're like, no, not really. You know, by the end of the day, my lawyer came. Um, the guy who booked me came and, you know, the policeman got to realize that, oh, you know, he was actually being honest by saying who he is and what happened. In a wait, open for daddy. That's my song. You see, I am not a Yahoo boy. Keep quiet. Do you smoke anything? No, I don't smoke, officer. So you are not driving the car. Where's your where's car opening for? Where's your where, where is car? Where's your car? We use the Nika is not my daughter. We use that to sing the chorus to create the music. So that's a song, you just like a song now. Yes, officer. Okay, wait, we're going to put it to test now. Uh, the Archins, have you ever heard of anybody named DJ Neptune? No, sir. Have you heard of any song, Nika, wait? <laughs> Open for daddy. You have not heard about it. Hey, brother. Begin to pull your shirt. My flatmate, first class entertainment. Um, I mean, to be honest, um, I understand they're trying to protect everybody out there, but then at the same time, there are ways you can do these things, you know, and then also as individual like myself, I mean, if you don't have anything to hide, like when I see a checkpoint in front of me, I just literally put up, put on my inner lights, and then when I get to them, they tell me to wind down, and I, I identify myself. Yeah, well, that can work for me because of who I am, you know. But then also, the police they need to take it easy because sometimes the approach can be crazy, you know. I'd, I'd been stopped one night. I came down, opened my boots, and while I was doing that, some other car was driving past, and they were trying to stop the driver. I don't know what was happening. Maybe the guy wasn't going to stop, and then they went aggressive on him, and all of a sudden, the guy just told me young man get into your car and leave you know i could tell like they were ready to deal with that guy like you think you want to out outsmart us or but i mean there are ways there are better ways these things can be done you know on both parties on the police side and then we as individuals as well because life is too short um i knew it was going to get a lot of attention right maybe not this much but it, the moment I heard the beat, it sounded different, you know, and then I'd made a trailer video. If you're on trailer, by the way, follow me, DJ Neptune Trailer. I'd made the trailer video and then I posted it on my Instagram, asking my fans or music lovers, like, who do you think I should feature on this beat? Mind you, already Joe Boy already sent in his vocals, but I, I just wanted to have an idea. And a lot of people tilted towards Joe Boy. I'm like, mm, okay, that means I made, I made the right decision. And um, when the record dropped, I wasn't surprised either because it's a good song, right? Uh, both artists are, uh, are doing well in their respective uh, market, you know, so it wasn't a shocker for me that it was going to do well because, I mean, I was ready to push it with all my strength and everything, you know, but I mean, I guess music lovers just made it a little bit easy for me, but regardless, I still have to push. You know, so I mean, so far I'm grateful. Thank you, you guys, for streaming. Keep streaming and sharing. Let's let's up the numbers, man. Yes, yeah, ten years old. It's ten years, actually a decade. I, I released one to three remakes. I, I released the original with Mi in 2009, and then I went to do the remix in 2010, featuring the late Dag Green, um, NATO C and MI and um, I mean like you rightfully said we've been dropping hits after hits after hits I mean the only thing I think I could the only good thing I think I could do to my brand is to be consistent you know because um, the market is quite competitive uh, but regardless you need to stay ahead of your game and um, I'm, I mean I've been able to carve a lane for myself whereby I'm not disturbed about what anybody's doing I'm not bothered about what anyone is doing I just do me and I know when I deliver everyone will love the end product so i mean i try to evolve myself over time and then try to give uh the best different from the previous uh um, um product or rather music that i put out so i mean it's just what it is just work hard strive hard and be on top of your game uh 
Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the type to go around making noise that oh, I helped A, I helped B. But those that know know. I mean, those that that are in the industry that are still in the industry know that one way or the other, this guy uh, has been an inspiration from afar, and even some from within. Because I mean, I've had guys come to me like, oh, um, I, I need to create uh, my crates, my library. Can I get stuff from you? Um, oh, you do video mix. Can you help me with videos and whatnot? You know, but that's my own way of contributing. I'm, I mean, I've also at some point asked people for things like this. And um, I think it's only right to be there to help people, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be here forever. You know, and we all need to help each other grow. For KYs, I mean, he's a young man that I've seen grow from nothing to something, and I'm very, very happy for his for his success. And I know he, he's definitely he definitely hasn't started. You know, he's he's, he's a very hungry um, young man that wants to take any opportunity given to him and then maximize it to the fullest. So big ups to you, KYs. Keep doing what you're doing. We're super proud of you. I'm super proud of you. And um, I mean. At your age, I know a lot of DJs that have not been able to achieve what you have achieved. But then again, everyone has the is our own destiny. But regardless, keep doing you and push hard. Yeah, I have a project plan, which is pretty much like done done. I'm just mixing and mastering now. So nobody's a second single from that. Uh, sometime in April, by God's grace, I'll be putting out the track list and a release date and we continue the party the real 2020 party will continue from there so fingers crossed greatness to the sounds of neptune is about to hit your head your eardrum so get prepared clear your playlist you see how nobody came and cleared your playlist trust me i got more fire more fire coming through so fingers crossed next next month Who do you expect to see on the album? Mm, I mean, Joe Boy, Mr. Easy is already on the album. Uh, Victor AD is already on the album. I, I think you already have an idea of... Um, maybe I'll mention one or two names. So, there is a DJ Neptune and Tenny track on the album. And uh, there is a DJ Neptune and Fireboy on the album as well. So, that's enough. Wait for the track list. I mean, different process, most sometimes like, I mean, take nobody for, for instance, I sent a beat to Joe Boy, recorded and sent back. When I did Tomorrow with um, Victor AD, I got, um, there'll be, I got, no, sorry, I got Kel P to come through to the hotel, had it set up and then um, gave Victor the time and venue and he came through and in less than two hours, we were able to vibe together, created the chorus, sat down together, constructed the verse and we had tomorrow you know so it's it's different like i tell people there's really for me i feel there's really no rules to making music whatever direction it takes you to wherever the wherever the spirit leads just just flow with it so that's that's what i that's what i do but shout out to everyone i've worked with from producers to engineers to sound engineers to directors you guys are the real mvp for for helping me bring out the visuals right and then the audio as well. All right, so shout out to everyone that uh, took part um, in that concert, uh, the Sounds of Neptune Median concert that happened 2nd of November um, last year, 2019. It was crazy, it was my first concert. So, and if you know me, I like to make sure my things go real, like everything has to be 100% on point. You know, so I had sleepless nights for about two months. Like I literally would be on my laptop and I'll sleep off and I'll have it beside me and I'll probably like wake up by 2 a.m. I'm like, oh damn, I've not responded to that email. I've, I've not sent this proposal. You know, it was crazy. Shout out to the team that worked with me as well. It was it was amazing. Like a lot of artists turned up. The love was 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 crazy. I was I was overwhelmed. You know, uh, so I just use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that came out to support. Definitely this year we're doing it big. I'm, I'm aiming at doing two to be precise. One in Lagos, obviously, and then Abuja as well, because the fan base in Abuja seem to be very strong and um, um, they love Neptune over there as well. 
So, and um, in between, um, there's going to be the Sounds of Neptune Campus tour. We're currently planning that. Uh, I mean, Koro came and distracted us a bit, but hopefully, God's grace, we would have this faced off and then we can go back to our plan. So definitely it's going to be a busy year for DJ Neptune. I'm bringing the party to you guys. Let's have fun. Let's vibe. It is what it is. All right, so we whiskey here. I didn't even know it was going to come. I didn't even know whiskey was in town. Who, it was Tiwa that I invited, you know? So I think they were having a, a studio section before Tiwa decided to start heading to my venue and then they had a gig together after my concert so i guess we just felt like oh he's neptune i might as well just pop up you know and then he came through so i appreciate that uh, i mean it would have been cool if he could perform but like i said i didn't invite him so that would be asking for too much so i mean but regardless let's see what happens this year to be honest to be honest to be honest you can't you can't know everyone like me my name is like way way up there and people really don't know what I look like. You know, it works for me because I can I can still go to some places and have my quiet time. You know, so maybe that's what Fireboy wants. But I mean, there's been like what over four or five videos of Fireboy out already. So if you if you've not seen that, I mean, too bad. Maybe you've been too busy. And if you've seen it, I mean, I believe you should know what Fireboy looks like. But like I said everyone has their own strategy to doing things so that might be his strategy like for me i'm not an all up in your face type of guy you know so i can walk into the market and then I, it happens like i walk into places and then i could read the body language like oh is that neptune no no it can't be neptune no neptune can't, can't just walk in like that that's me like I, I don't like coming in and be all loud so that might be his strategy So my name is DJ Neptune, you already know about this DJ Ever Lever, aka Mr. Greatness. We're out here chilling in the studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. It's been an amazing time. Stay tight with me on my social media, D-W-E-J-A-Y Neptune on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. If you're on Snapchat, it's DJ Neptune TV. If you're on Trilla, it's DJ Neptune Trilla. Let's have fun. Please go out, stream the music, share it, watch the video. We're about to hit 3 million stream. Let's get it to 5 million in, in the next coming week. So God bless you. Peace. We sure hope you enjoyed this video. For more entertaining video content such as behind the scenes of music videos and movies, music concerts, premieres, interviews, and exclusive gists, subscribe now to our YouTube channel Goldmine TV and be unleashed into a world of super excitement.